Fierce clashes have been reported across Sudan as fighting between rival armed factions continues to spread. On Sunday and early Monday, the claim to occupy sites in the capital Khartoum such as the presidential palace and the adjoining city of Omdurman, as well as in the western region of Darfur and Mero Airport in the north of the country. But some accounts indicated that the army had regained control of the airport, with the military saying they were dealing with small pockets of rebels. The army has previously denied that they had seized key sites in the capital. And witnesses in the country told Reuters news agency that the army appeared to be making gains after blasting RSF bases with airstrikes. We haven't slept for 24 hours. Residents of Khartoum have spoken of fear and panic, and reported gunfire and explosions. We're scared, we haven't slept for 24 hours because of the noise and the house shaking, Huda, a Khartoum resident, told the Reuters news agency. We're worried about running out of water and food, and medicine for my diabetic father. Another Khartoum resident, Khalid Care, told that residents could not be sure of safety anywhere. All civilians have been urged to stay at home, but that has not kept everyone safe. The fighting is between army units loyal to the de facto leader, Gen Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and the RSF, a notorious paramilitary force commanded by Sudan's deputy leader, Mohamed Hamdan Dagalo, better known as Hamedi. The major sticking points are over the plans to incorporate the 100,000-strong RSF into the army, and over who would then lead the new force. The brief pause in the fighting on Sunday followed complaints from doctors' unions that it was difficult for medics and sick people to get to and from hospitals while the fighting was raging.